Yeah, yeah, baby. The thrill is gone away. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 what it bees like, what it bees like, what it bees like, what it bees like. How are everybody doing? I know some people are like, yo, where's Unc at? What Unc up to? And, and I'm like, time I do this, I'm like, I, I told you I get, I get just, I start losing it. Looking at myself, trying to look at myself to the camera and stuff. So, um, I'm gonna start having some sat ins, not sat sayings, but sat ins, letting a couple of people come sat in in the backyard. We're gonna just go back and forth and converse or whatever, and they'll bring that real inside information to them, those who are in the local vicinity. You know, because I've been running to a lot of people that watch videos, a lot of my homies and stuff, all, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm so. I can't do what I do in a video, what I can do in live. You know what I mean? See, like some people get nervous about talking to somebody like that or something like that. Me? Nah, baby. Because I get passionate with it and I'm going to drop that real. You know what I mean? So, how you say this? Let's get it started. 13 love, 13 wisdom, 13 knowledge, and 13 respect. 13 to the negas, serpent eyes. Where is my serpent eyes? I'm not here, I'm not here. Oh, they down there, they inside the shirt. Oh, I don't want to open up the shirt to see, but um, check this out. I had noticed the shirt I had on. It's a um, shirt I had went to the thrift store. You know, when you go to court proceedings, you have to be in a certain attire. And you know, you have the blue shirt, blue pants, like stuff like that. And um, went to this area i didn't i just look for like blue shirts and stuff like that blue shirts white shirts and stuff like that and they're getting a good deal on a little stuff and i'm talking real cheap like all i'm mean, things it's like i ain't like i got like a, a bunch of clothes like a few dollars <laughs> you know and but i never noticed it had initials on the pocket <laughs> I hate. and on the park yeah, yeah you see it i ain't doing nothing now so i'm just letting you know because people think i'll be doing some kind of camera magical tricks and whatever <laughs> And lights and being changes colors and stuff, but on the pocket it has um y'all can't see it. I'm going closer to it. Um, I ain't what to say. Can't see it. Well, anyways, R A H R A H. If you can't see, I can't see it. I don't know what I look. But I posted a picture on Twitter and on um, inside TLC thing. But it says raw. R A H. I ain't nobody though. <laughs> I'm somebody, but I ain't nobody, but you know what I mean? Um, so I decided to do that, but um, let me, let me, uh, let me just go have some fun. First, I had to tell him, because I was in the hood and stuff, um, had to go see like my uncle, you know, transition and stuff, get back with the fam and everything, some of the family and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's sad that we come together on somebody departing, death or whatever, transitioning. And so, you know, we was talking like, man, look here, just got to get everybody right now, start to bring people together why people living and stuff you know our elders are leaving and the youth out here is lost and in one generation that don't just been skipped and everything is really bad it's confused so i was like in the hood like man you know what it's time to kind of um we got we got to change this man and that's what i'm trying to do and i'm going to do it online i'm trying to do it until the time comes do it everywhere bring the people together only the righteous don't give a damn about the lawless you ain't trying to be right. I don't give a damn about you. Come on about your business. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't you can't worry about the lawless people, people no more. You can't stay attached to the lawless because the lawless people get you electrocuted when everything happening. You know what I'm saying? The righteous have to rise up. You know, business mind and everything on every different level. You know, there's a million ways to die, but there's only one way to live. That's a 13 sound quote. I got a million quotes just to know. Let y'all know people use a lot of my stuff in their books, but I ain't never get no royalties from it. I but you know, as long as the word got out there, and it will vibrate with my vibration. There's a million ways to die, but there's only one way to live, and that's the right way, following the most high way, that Nazarene way, that is seen way, that TLC way, that 13 love way, because that's Hashim way. And Hashim is the son of Hashima. Just to let you know, but it's another story. Anyway, let me just, <laughs> let me go ahead and kick something real quick. I'm coming off a 40-day fast. 
first time doing a 40 day fast. And it started right at September 27th, September 23rd, which is autumn. Autumn. Most people don't know this. And it was like, that's why I'm laughing at people talk about September 23rd, something's going to happen. And this and that. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't get into that stuff. But people think a Fort Blood Moon came and it's over with. Y'all don't have a clue about spirituality or nature or seasons. No season starts in one day. You have a season from fall until what winter or something like that. And winter, there comes spring. Them are just small, short seasons. But when we're dealing with this blood moon kind of energy stuff, y'all don't have a real clue. It took four blood moons of this old called energy to come together. Now all those like four tornadoes of tornadoes winds is now twirling all around each other. See, it takes one that's doing it by itself, then another one comes and start joining, and another one comes and start joining, and another one comes and start joining. Now you got four different energies coming at one different thing, at boom, 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 like an X, and you got that zero in the middle, and now they're hitting boom. Now the energy all starting to happen now, and everything's going to go around the planet and do what they got to do, baby. And this process is going to be going on for like um, the next seven years, in which that will come down to around 2020 to 2020 to 2022. That's like seven years. Just keeping it real. So people think four blood moon came and went. You don't have a clue. Which the fourth blood moon is a season. And you're going to be going through a lot of different stuff. A lot of different changes. Now the righteous people can't worry about the lawless people. You have to just worry about being right. And do the right thing. My videos. I know I took a lot of them down. I might post them back up. My videos was three years in advance. I told everybody this. <laughs> so you know, 2012 I haven't even got here yet 2012 is 2020 you know if you're inside TLC I dropped some information on the Ethiopian calendar some d information on the Yahshua Christ B day or born day or whatever you know you know took it back to the mezzo you no know, I ain't gonna get into it right here but y'all wants to know y'all know I dropped it and um and, and you'll see the importance of why September 11 is so important because it's Christ day it's a new year day. Let there be light. And majority of people around the world knows this in government and secret societies, but the peasants and the flawless, the lawless out there don't know this at all. But they got knowledge. But they gave you self to me 11 day as dropping the bonds or twin travels coming in down, bringing you that fear. But the Lord said, let there be light. So they lit up New York City with a lot of dust and mist and fake shit. And got a lot of confusion on you. So you don't get no light. And that's why you continue in darkness. Because we're nothing but a dark cloud around New York City. But y'all got gods up there with all this ghetto knowledge. And all this semantics up there. Ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing going on. But they think they got knowledge. But they all falling down too with the buildings. But the righteous shall rise up. Because September 11 is our day. Let there be light. That's the new beginning day. And if you're inside TLC. I've been putting that together little by little. But bring you back to the real deal. And I haven't even gave up the whole thing yet. Even part of the little rituals I gave ain't even the whole things yet. Even what I got, the Jews ain't even got it. So-called Jews ain't even got it. But I'm giving a little by little till you get ready for it to start catching on to it. Can't give it to y'all at one time. Just like I water you down with some lemon and honey like that. That ain't even the whole thing. Just like I, I told you, I'm going to have the recipe for you to get rid of your tattoos. I'm going to have it all to, i give you little of it not gonna i'm never gonna give it all at one time so you can run away and go somewhere and get in there thinking that and then start something with it uh, 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 uh. to get it all you're gonna have to wait around you're gonna get it it spirals around baby like a tornado it's not just what it's a whole game not one quarter oh i'm gonna quit now i got some information i'm gonna run and quit like a lot of them did so i set them up with some false information boom yeah i fucked them up because mm. they didn't know the parables you know they didn't know so they took stuff and thought they had something and know they got a little bit of something ran with it. Like I try to tell people that's a lot of the Moors fell with a lot of information because they took instruments and they ran with it. They ran with some information that they got from another Moorish information that was years ago or something like that. That information was no good no more because things change, statues change, codes change. And if you never went to law school so you don't know how to write them instruments down right and play that game of law because the game of law is an art form. So if you're not a good painter and you're not a Da Vinci or Michelangelo, and you know what I'm talking to them as codes, if you know what I'm talking about, you better get your lawyer to do them instruments right. But nobody didn't do that. So they send them instruments and them instruments are not correct. So they all fall and fail because they're arrogant. Nobody Drew Ali said, your people or your own people will put you back in bondage. 
I'm not going to call it the minister name or all the leaders and preachers and pastors and sheiks and all the people who deal with the 503C. All the people are setting my people up to be back in bondage. Some think they are free because they got some paperwork set in and all that. I get this, I get this. And you're still in bondage. Just keep it real. That's why Noble Jewel Lee said, don't get rid of them names. Keep them names. Claim them names. But a lot of people didn't hear about the claim part. Because the claim part, you do that every five years. You claim that name. <laughs> That's why I told my people in TLC, don't be in a rush to do nothing, baby. Come on. You, when you want to hear an orchestra play, the instruments have to be fine-tuned. So I fine-tune things real good because I want the instruments to play right because I want it to be a sell-out concert to get all my people satisfied. So when the music can go inside them and bring everything out of them. Because when you talk about enlightenment, enlightenment's come from inside, not outside. See, everybody out here is insane. They think they're insane, but they're outsane because they're out of their brains. If they was insane, they would be righteous with knowledge and knowledge would be coming out of you from the inside of you. You will be sane, have some sanity, but you don't have sanity, so you're dealing with Christianity and Satanism. Because majority of people will tell somebody they're a false prophet. That's not a Messiah, see. That's not this. That's not that. But they don't know, have a clue what a Messiah is. Because the first person... The one who talks the most about religious is not even religious. A person who don't practice religious always talking about somebody not real or right. Because if you was doing you was doing religion, you won't be opening your mouth, running your mouth about nobody out here. Trust me on that. So is the false people out here that mislead people with new age information? Because your new age information, if it's new, is not true. So your new age is all false. Because if you had enlightenment knowledge, enlightenment is the light from Ra, from nature. That's literature. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? You talking about literature? Yes, you have the light, which is literature. And literature is poetically speaking. I have volumes of books of poetically speaking that I'll be bringing out with light. They will be on the app, that 13 app that I told you about two years ago. I haven't forgot, baby. I've just been busy, baby. Fine tuning my instruments, baby. You know, I got to get the right band to play with me, you know what I mean? So, you know, I got my right brothers and my brethren around to play with me, baby. You know what I mean? So, when we start blowing them trumpets, we, we got the psalms going on. And let's get the right, right crew around me, baby. And then I'm going to drop the stuff to them, but then they're going to be dropping it together. And we be dropping it all at the same time, blowing them horns loud, posting them trumpets loud. And the band played on, baby. Let them saints go marching in. See, the information have to be a fine tune to reach inside the inner ear, which is the canal. And you're dealing with that Panama Canal. That's why the government wanted to overtake that Panama Canal since the 1920s. Go figure that one out. <laughs> That's your equilibrium, baby. That's where everything starts at, right down in the waters. The deep waters. See, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all not clean. And once you're not clean, you're not back to nature, you'll never get the information right because everything you're going to get is going to be already dirtied up. Somebody already used it. That's like going to take a bath with somebody else that somebody already bathed in the bath water. Then you go get in the same dirty bath water. They think you're going to get clean. You're going to put their dust and dirt right on top of you. So the information out here that everybody getting right now is regurgitated dirt. Somebody don't use it, abuse it, and they're going to try to give it to you. You think you got right knowledge. It's wrong. I hate to do it like that, but that's what we got going on out here. And a lot of people can't step back from something. You know, you might get something, it's something that sounds so right, but then it'd be wrong. See, this is how you know if somebody right or wrong. Righteous have love. Wrong people, they get mad because they know they don't found some information that they found they, they stuff is wrong, but they ain't gonna tell nobody it's wrong. They just gonna get mad and just start hating on people. Righteous don't see colors because you don't think colors to see you see all the colors all the all the ultimate levels wrong people they still stuck in black and white new age liars they still don't manifest everything out here but what about coming out of her my people on um, with this bondage stuff that you're under because you have your birth certificate everybody know about the birth certificate about now but if you're a person out there that you're following that's enlightened and talk about manifesting stuff but they're not talking about getting free, getting your birth certificate, all this stuff back out of bondage. 
that person is an agent. Do you hear me? If any of your gurus on TV, Twitter, YouTube, whatever, I hear talking about all the manifesting things and getting this and getting that, but they're not talking about getting your freedom back, that person is an agent. There's over, there's like 15 million back in the 20s or 30s agents of conspiracy, um, Aquarian age. Watch my video called Aquari Aquarian Age Conspiracy or something like that. I dropped names in that. And I had to stop. I ain't never do the part two. I did a part two, but I didn't post it. Because the name's too many this too deep. It's gonna make a lot of people mad. And all y'all get tricked. There's so many different agents out here that's tricking you every different way. These people talk about all this kind of stuff, everything else, but they ain't, they ain't talking about Yahshua. They ain't talk about that Christ being. They ain't talking about none of that stuff there. And that's the part what's upsetting. I'm not upset because you get upset, you're just putting set up. But they're misleading people on every level. And it's very sad. And you have to really be right. You can't stay connected to these people trying to go look for some information over here and talk about some chakras and all this stuff. Chakras. Do they do them people can them people change colors around them? Can they do anything? You know, you should be able to see an aura around somebody. You know, you should you should it's, come on. You supposed to feel a vibration comes from that person's voice and hits the inside of you. Not that light stuff, because Joshua was not talking light. Joshua was a revolutionary. Go look it up. But somebody have got you into thinking that enlightenment was nice talking and stuff like that. Mother Nature is not nice. Mother Nature is going to come with the wrath and get rid of the bad weeds and the bad seeds and the rotten fruit so the good fruit can grow and live on. That's called expansion of knowledge right there. That's called cosmic universe knowledge. If you don't have no seeds and not created seeds out here, how can you live on? How can you grow on? If you are your ancestors and come back and you into this material form here, your ancestors live with through you, but where's your seeds to continue you living on? That means it's over for you right there. I'm just saying. So the government got you down here dealing with a lot of unnatural acts, which makes us genocide on the whole world. So they're stopping things, and that's when you know it's time is up. People are like, man, why you just, it, it, the time is going to be, hey, look here, look here, look here, look here. It's the end to this, your end is going to be in here. Because you had a beginning, so your end, ha your beginning has to end. So your new age already has started, it's your new age has to end. So you, unlawless people have to go away. You look around, you ride around town, you look at the neighborhood, they're building everything up. You're like, wow, man, this can't be, this can't, this, how can't, who going to destroy this stuff? It's nice out here. It's nice for who? It's foolish for a lot of people. You don't took away the water. There's no clean water. There's no good fruits. Every fruit is fake. Everything is fake. And th th that's not life. Nobody should have to be living like this. There should be nobody that is struggling for nothing. Water should be free. Fruit should be, fruit should be free. Everything should be free. Eating and stuff should be free. But that's not no priority no more. People think food is hot dogs and potato chips and cookies and candy. And all this nonsense stuff, that's not no fool. Somebody tricked everybody, man. I mean, you no, know, and people can't take people won't say they like, oh, just eat healthy and you're gonna be fine. Eat healthy is a goddamn lie. Cause eating healthy, you're gonna be healing yourself. That's only one part of it. The eating part is one of it. And matter of fact, eating is the last part. Cause you supposed to be get away from eating. Light means light. You float like a feather. Putting a feather in your head don't make you righteous. If you're not floating like a feather. See, these people out here got some on some boo some um foom stuff. No, they talk a lot of good game out here. Everybody talk a lot of good game, but ain't none of them right. People see me, if you was righteous, you'll be with your turban outside without no problems. People gonna respect you. You gonna gain respect. They gonna respect that righteous. Everywhere I go, I get some respect. People look, hey, what, what, what's, 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 your, what's your religion? Right? Religion, my religion, I'm in, I'm in alignment with everything. I'm one with it all. Religion. Fools ask about a religion, and, but there's one of your brothers, one older brother like him. He said, hey, wait, y'all wait. No. Well, I got, I got no control. I said, that's part, that's one part of it. No, but more is, more is, is immortal. That's from the creator. Them immortal beings. 
<laughs> moors don't die. Real moors don't die. Just being dark don't make you a moor. Moors are immortal beings and clean beings. They're cleanse. That means they got all the dirt off them. But somebody trick you. And they think they more just by saying they name. Oh, you're born. Yeah, everybody's born a more. If they came out of the womb of the canal, they was born a more. Hmm. Go figure that one out. And that was the empire on earth. Move. Hmm. But somebody got tricked up into the brands of calling people this and that and that and this. I told somebody the other day, I said, why people think Europe is like a thousand miles from Africa or something like that? So-called Europe's a thousand miles from so-called Africa. Why they think this? You can throw a rock from Africa into Europe. Once you understand this geograph or this landmark, you would say, damn, wait a second. Somebody been playing with us. You damn right they have. Europe and Africa was all one thing together at one time too. CD lies got to stop. And once you know that, you're like, wait a second. That's why the most I say. In the last days, I'm going to let them demons loose on and let them come down on you. So people think these demons are going to come out the clouds on you. But I'm going to take you down a trip down memory lane. How much time? Nah, I ain't going to do it in this one here. That's a whole video by itself. I'm going to take you to hell. Y'all want to go to hell? Where the Yakuz dwell? Up there now, the Amor, Yakistan, come out of them way cold mountains of hell. Up there in real, the coldest place on earth. Up there above Russian area up there. Hell! Go look up the highway to hell. Before I drop the video. And see what they tell you and watch what I tell you. This your boy. Oh, I ain't coming to say what I can't say yet. My brothers and sisters and tell say. <laughs> Listen, man, I just come up a 40 day fast. My first time turning on hangouts, I got like, all these messages people trying to send me. I can't answer all these messages. I got work to do, man. Now, and there are others. I'm getting all these emails about, hey, can I get permission to use logo? Can I get permission to use logo? Can I get permission to use logo? Look here. First of all, that logo got to be dealing with righteous. Just because you're saying you're right don't mean you're right. And the logo, you can't go out of each other trying to put that logo on all kinds of that logo on everything like that. No. You get you one thing you could be working with, and that's the logo could go on the corner of your business cards. The logo could go on the corner of your site, your website like that. But to be thinking you're going to just use the logo to put on things like that, you come on, man, you're wrong. The logo represents something. It's not just a logo. Y'all swear y'all mistaken in that. If you take a real good look at the logo, you will see the olive branch is the same as Hammurabi so it's a diff it's more than what you're thinking right now just let you know it's more than what you're thinking right now come on man y'all on that right now stuff <laughs> I'm on that for the everlasting stuff Hammurabi code is still going on around here dealing with commerce commercial merchants worldwide that logo is serious, not just to be playing with. And some brothers using it right, but some just want to use it for profit. See, a profit don't make profit. I'm not a profit. But I told you what I'm doing is for you, not me. But not for you to go abuse stuff, because you're not going to give nothing bad on this one here. So people have to be patient, because just because people use it, you still ain't got the forms yet. But I'm letting people like use it to put on to have the business site. Everybody should have it on their business site who part of TLC. It should be somewhere on the corner of the business site, but you should have your own logo. Because I told you you gotta brand yourself. And then you're gonna brand yourself into the TLC family at 13. That's TLC family, showing that you're part of the thing. And then when people see your logo, they'll know to go do business with that person. Because that logo is gonna be worldwide logo. So it's just like seeing an Amway sticker somewhere. Amway people went and brought from Amway people only in Amway. So when they see the TLC logo, they're like, hey, I'm going to buy from them. That's my family there. And people think I, I think people think I'm joking about stuff and look at numbers on YouTube and stuff like that. But you see, I post a little thing about um views. Only been five months we went private. Only been five months. But it's eight million people came to view. If I was a rapper dropping some stuff, a mixtape or something like that. Eight million people came, and if somebody, everybody gave me a dollar, I'd be an eight million, I'd be a millionaire, will not I? But I ain't got nothing to do. Go figure that one out. The righteous will get taken care of. That's why I ain't in a rush for nothing, baby. I know 
what's going to happen. I know how it's going to happen. I know the plan, how it's supposed to go down and how everything's supposed to happen. Those who win a rush is going to crash like a bus. Those who are patient, I can promise you the promised land. That's what I guarantee that. Those who those who walk beside me, ride beside me, I, like I said, by 2017, you're going to see. <laughs> they be sitting like, man, let me see if I'm going to beat somebody. Like, man, you did say this, man. Boy, I love you, dog. I love you, man. <laughs> hey, people be trying to rub the code. They ain't going to come across that. They ain't going to come across that dimension now. Like, man. I'm just, I'm just saying how I know how I've seen things. I see stuff in the future way ahead of time. That's all I'm saying. That's why I know things. I say, man, come on, y'all got to stop running so fast. Man, the instrument's being torn up. It's like it's like you remember the movie called Fifth Element? What they had to get a good band to play right now. They had to come to, oh, 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 oh. And she started jamming and stuff when all the elements was coming together. And she, oh, oh, oh. and they thought they were up and blew this and do that and do that. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> the elements have to be put right together, and the elements is instruments being put together. The L and the mints being put together. You know what I mean? Now check this out. I'm gonna drop that. Like, I'll pop up the footage here, right? Ask about. I can't drop the information because I told I'm gonna drop it before I let it write something down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give us a sample or something. I'm gonna show you how deep this goes. <laughs> You're like, man, how you be doing that? Today we got people dancing around on the maypole. That maypole is fake stuff what they do nowadays and they got lost. Sometimes they see some kind of balls and strings hanging from that maypole and like all these people dancing in a circle walking around butt naked and it's all big ritual or sex activities and stuff and that's they call it Wicca and all this other nonsense. Right. But in ancient times in ancient times, before anybody got this information, what I'm going to say, that maypole wasn't no maypole. See, the wise ones got the people in a group of the circle, about a group of like nine or maybe a group of 13. They got them in a circle like that. And while they get they look, they everything together, putting all the sounds and vibrations together, there's a light that came down, strolling down, spiraling down from the ground and up, straight up. And it looked like a pole. It was a light pole, a big enlightenment pole, like a boom, that came straight, straight down to come down the top in the pyramids to the same thing. And that's where they get the so-called pole from. Today you see people dancing naked on a pole trying to get the same kind of energy, but they can't get that pole. When that pole of light and energy came down, when that pole of light and energy came spiraling down, that energy sent off vibrations and tether strings to each individual right there, and then there's a balls of light and auras coming to each individual. So the day then individuals start spinning around, the ball start going around like that to each individual. So it's like on a merry-go-round, going back around to Mare, Mary. You feel what I'm saying though? Oh, you don't hear me though, do you? But now it's the ancient wisdom man starting to talk. That instruments came from that pole was called tether tether strings so today then they make a game called tether ball hitting that tether ball around that tether ball is the same information they got from the enlightenment information back in the days in europe hey this that nigga serpent time now but i ain't gonna do it right now i'm just give you a taste of what i'm gonna drop on you mm. yeah like that don't you see they got you out here fool got you a well, damn dancing pole inside your house you got a, 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 a pole inside you got them club doing some backwards ass rituals and you don't even know you're doing them backwards because you not have no connection with the most highs. Because that most high energy goes from in and out of earth. In and out of earth. And it's a line of light that's twisting like, like a bunch of light. Electricity going in and out. And it sends off information to each individual with light bulbs. With oils coming from that light. Hitting that person and giving them enlightenment. And that's why they walk around with a light bulb around their goddamn head looking like that. That's what the real wise ones did. And yes, the women was the ones who had it at first. But they lost it. And so today they started to go ahead and think they got some wicked magic and dealing with nature. You're not dealing with nature at all because you're not even connected with the light. And there's no such thing as no light worker, baby. That's some real wisdom there come from a righteous person, a spiritual being, a one with real connection to netters and netter rules who got the ether and ether beings or ether network to work this thing. The real planet keepers. It ain't, it ain't that the ones out here saying they got the light. It ain't them out there saying they got the maypole dancing around that butt naked with some of the assholes. Ain't none of that there. Just talking about it don't make you righteous. 
your voice will hit that sacred spot and make that tether come back out of you to get a connection back to that zero point. Because when that one comes, they get that connection right back to it. And they're gonna start getting information fed right back into that, 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 that spiral that's coming out their navel area. Y'all don't, y'all, you don't, don't know, do you? And they right here talking about some knowledge. Man, I'm gonna go to drop some information on the and drop some blood moon information on it. I'm gonna blow their freaking minds out and make them beg for repentance. That 13th song. Come on, man. 1967, they made a record. Return of the 13th song. Sons of Adam. Are you serious? Then you got another group called Genesis, 13 Son. Are you serious? Then you got some other groups, the 13 Son. Way back in 60s, 70s groups, all this music. Are you serious? I ain't nobody though, baby. <laughs> I'm just a fool with it. He said he a fool, man. Yes, I fool the lawless ones because they can't handle what I got because they're lawless. He's so arrogant. No, I'm not. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. And I love my brethren and sisters around the world. My cousins who's under co sending together, under the moon, co sending together. I'm here to bring them back right. Because they everybody been going wrong and too many of them haven't been going right. There's only a few would be right. 85% will perish. Mother Nature must get rid of her bad seeds. Because they're not rooted right. They can't get back to the deep roots. <laughs> they in quicksand trying to run too fast. But they ain't see everything was sinking around them in the holes. Too many holes in their aura fields. It's a boy, the super sun, the super matter, the 13 sun, 13 love to TLC, 13 love to everybody who down and be with me. Forever clarity daily out here. That's what we're going to bring it forever. It's about the laws, baby. We call it real bay laws. But y'all ain't hear me though. Because, um, bear, and I feel it. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say on that one there. 13 love, 13 wisdom, 13 knowledge, and 13 respect. 13 love, the TLC. <sighs> My 40 day fast is finally up. My mind's sharper than a knife. I could have ready to slice stuff up like Ginsu. I'm out.